Okay, so what we've got here is my favorite uh, automatic water feeder, uh, the VXT. Let's see, I have the cover right here. And this was a transitional model that they made uh, sometime around 2021 where the valve was reversible. They used a they mounted it on a disc rather than a bracket. See it there. And if you loosen these screws, you can then shift the entire unit around the valve. Uh, these are the instructions on how that's done. In this particular case, the uh, there was a transitional unit in that they didn't have this uh, coil properly mounted um, for reasons. So what can happen is the coil can come loose and burn up because it's not getting the uh, cooling effect of the uh, stalk that's in the middle there, I believe. Um, so what I usually do is uh, shove it on with a little uh, Teflon gasket. I put it inside and just shove this on the stalk so that keeps it from coming off easily. Um, probably want to work out some kind of uh, bracket here that's on this screw and on that screw which holds that on there. That may work also. I haven't figured that out yet. But they didn't, they they had only a couple of months of production of this one, but you might come across it. Uh, so just be aware that that could happen. Um, otherwise, it's a fine piece of machinery, as uh, you may know from my other videos. Um, I have a service valve here, uh, three eighths male by female. So this can be isolated uh, if necessary to work on this thing without impacting the uh, flow of water to the boiler and uh, also help on uh, servicing. This is your manual bypass. I like these red white valves because they uh, seem to not uh, pass. Uh, they, they tolerate the um, heat reasonably well uh, in soldering and uh, the seals don't break down and add water um, surreptitiously. This is your tag, which you should, uh, for servicing, servicing tips and keeping track of your water loss, which is very important for um, longevity of your, your water, uh, excuse me, your boiler. There's your feed button on top. I had uh, checked this on my bench top and I made a note to uh, check the coil to make sure that it's uh, operational. N nice and quiet, at least as far as feeding is concerned. There's our water level there. Um, wiring these things up, got to pay attention to polarity. Uh, really difficult to see there, but on the usually on the back of the... low water cutoff is going to be your wiring as far as your neutral, your hot, and your uh, sense. In this particular case, it's A is your sense, your two is your return, and your number one terminal is the uh, um, supply for the uh, feed. There it is there, much cleaner uh, version. So you want to make sure that you got your color codes there. As you can see, green is usually the feed, the red is usually the hot, the white is the uh, uh, grounded return. And there, it's reflected there in the neutral, the feed in the middle, in this particular case, and the H is the hot. So I hope that was useful. Uh, it was replacing uh, the other original one, 
was there. This is the elect electronics from the original unit that uh, we replaced just recently. Um, still works, but eh, it's now an artifact because it doesn't have the readout. So thank you again. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.